Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect, where in the previous episode I got a little bit distracted by overhauling the majority of the prison to green energy. You can see we have the wind solar hybrids, which are these wind turbines with solar on either side. Those go into a transformer, which obviously is connecting to batteries to store the energy, and then into the export meter as well. So we're not only making money via the energy exports, but we're also powering a lot of the prison if we check out our utilities as well with the green energy and there's more than enough spare to probably retrofit the entire prison but that's a future us problem current us is focusing mainly on this cell block now obviously there's still a lot of things to add in terms of like well the shower's been put in but not yet built we've got buildings around here which we've not yet designated their purpose and just you know i think like a yard and also some flower therapy garden areas so there's still a lot to do but i really do want to go ahead and at least finish off this cell block up the top here. This will become, and will be rather, our um, graded cell block. We have a lot of money coming in. Uh, it's ranging, uh, I think it's about average, about 25,000 a day. So a lot of that is due to the people that come and eat in the restaurant. We have a lot of people working there and obviously the bakery as well. If we just check our logistics and prison labour, you can see there's a lot of people working in both of these areas so overall pretty happy with that obviously we also have people working in the uh, workshops people working in the laundry and the cleaning cupboard and strangely no one working here but overall pretty happy and it means getting more prisoners will fill all of these as well we are currently on reform prisoner initiative and we need to get 100 people reformed we're on to 83 percent grading is reoffending rate eight percent punishment seven reform seven security is dropped down to two but that's no big issue and health is still it's minus one because of course it is in terms of our i guess uh oh, i guess i've <laughs> in terms of our grants we could have picked up green machine which is to install purchase and install solar panels well we actually bought them and then sold them so if i had that one two three and then uh, was it one two three that'll get those that, that'll get that grant done and then we'll sell those on and then we'll go for things like i don't know maybe eco-friendly use green power to power the prison for five days that is easy we also have the green energy grants as well and the chief wants a chat discover the one the teachers bring in for the inmates classes have been smuggling huge amounts of contraband they've been fired but the damage is being done right shake down all sectors let's get that done let's get it sorted and whoa straight away you can see that there's huge amounts of contraband flashing up there we've got clubs needles Okay, it's it's going too fast to commentate on. Let's just wait until it gets near the end and we'll have a quick rundown and see what the deal is there. I also want to probably activate a couple of the informants to see if there's any traits that are of concern for us. There is this thing done. I'm going to not cancel it yet because there might be another grant. Basic farming and eco-friendly and carpentry apprenticeship. I'm going to get the carpentry apprenticeship and for these we will cancel cancel and dismantle and then we'll just sell the rest so there you are fairly easy to do the green energy and i don't know if it's a i don't know if it's a purpose i don't think i don't know if it's purposeful as in the green energy is just the best way to go if you have that dlc obviously oh a death visitor murdered by prisoner but we do have someone stationed there so we've done what we can to stop that. Also, I didn't realise we had a serving hatch through the wall here. And you can see we've got dirty plates on the other side of the wall. Curious. I think. I'm going to say I, thought, I think we need another sink. And I do think that is the case. Maybe a couple more fridges in here as well. There we go. And utilities will be fine on that one. So, searching is underway and going quite well. Looks like most of it has been found. Oh. What happened there? Power stations connected to one another, did they? Where did that connect? It must have been here, right? No, they already connect. Ah, oh, yeah, it's here. 
Um, that should do it. Power on. There we go. <laughs> Just one little connection there by putting the freezers in. No drama. No big drama. Power's still fine. Okay, so yeah, uh, that search. A lot of stuff. Um, didn't manage to check it all out, but there was stuff that I wouldn't have expected. The clubs was stolen from the gymnasium. Yeah, it is actually a danger. I know there is a mod you can get. Well, there are multiple mods you can get, but I know specifically there is a mod you can get that searches everything, which was completely overpowered until they added in the checkpoints, where you get which is a search everything. But it's it's not cheap. It's not oh, actually it is cheap. It's two hundred, but it must be staffed by a guard at all times. So in that regard, it isn't. Uh, okay. And. Just seeing so many people in here. Let's have a look. Dangers. Uh, informants. Potential CIs. I'll recruit that informant. Recruit that informant. And potential CIs as well. Currently sleep time. I think we need to activate some informants. Two of them should be sufficient. Let's see what happens here. There's a tunnel there. That's probably legit, that one. We have a 71% coverage. And one is still en route. 100% coverage. Okay. So we know everything that is to be known. And the dangers are there. Okay, so I'll deactivate those. And... What's the best thing? Well, for a start, tunnel search. Which I was going to do at the start, and then completely forgot. Because, you know, slept since then. Jump cut, apologies, the neighbour's cat wandered into the house randomly. Anyway, back to searching. <laughs> no joke, it did as well. And stole some ham. Anyway, back to the game where you can see we've just finished the... Uh, we finished the tunnel search and not found anything, but I still think there's something untoward going on, but we'll see about that later on. So, in terms of things to build, obviously this is the main area where we have to get the cell box in, but I think, yeah, getting the, getting the showers plumbed in is probably the main part of call. So I'll just speed up to max speed, because obviously the workers have got still a lot to do anyway. I've hired some more workers, so hopefully that'll be done sooner rather than later, but we'll see about that. Um, in terms of grants, I, you know, we've got the three, but programs certainly, I think what we can do is pick up, where is it? It'll be the death row, no, flower, no, solar panel development. We're not going to be running that, although, that might be something we could go for. Hmm. No. I guess we just need to produce the 10 superior beds. So we've got that on the go. Carpentry. Two on the go. And two finished, zero passed. That's a shame. Would be nice if we passed that. Speaking of passing, you can see this guard with the canine unit is walking past. And... Darn it. Stopped <laughs> where potentially there could have been a problem. But uh, there you are. In terms of utilities then, I'm going to continue running the utilities along the bottom here. And I'll just run it to the end because why not? And it's going to be a similar, uh, a similar connection here. What we'll do is run up to there. Run up to there. Then the small pipe. And that'll be all of those utilities wired up. And yep, that is legit, right? That toilet is getting ripped out of the wall. Dismantle and then dismantle. I don't think I need to do this next one, but I'm going to do it just for the sake of completeness. Oh, by the way, today's beverage is... <gasps> okay, um, that's worrying. <laughs> we have a little bit of a problem with tunnelling. It got to there. It's only been a couple of days since we've done 
well, we've done a couple of tunnel searches. The fact that it got to there without us detecting it from the tunnel searches, if it wasn't for the dogs going around the outside, that could be a big problem. Hmm. Okay. That's somewhat worrying. I don't know what I can do. I don't know if I need to do anything, quite frankly. I really don't know if there's anything I need to do. Hmm. Danger level is increasing. I'm going to check out. There's needs for family recreation, exercise, and hygiene. We're on work slash free time, and obviously most of the prisoners do fun uh, do work and are functionally inside the bakery and the diner here, or the restaurant. I use them terms interchangeable. Look at all that. As soon as they're working, all these restaurant meals go on. Loads of them cooking away there. So it looks like this is done. So, I think... Have they not done those walls there yet? Or have I just not placed them in? No, I've placed the walls in. They just haven't yet got to it. How curious. There we are. So still waiting for... Well, 10 prisoners to produce 10 superior beds. I don't know if that's actually going to ever happen. We shall see. Uh, these, you can see, are overloaded. Transformers must not be on the same circuit. They are not on the same circuit. But they are still powering all of that. Okay. So that was interesting. If I switch it off, they don't generate power. But all these are still connected. Uh, all of them are still on. Ah! That's because the batteries, I'm guessing, most likely. Either way, I turned it back on and we're all okay. Good. I am um, going to hire some more builders. Because, quite frankly, it's taking a while. Um, also, I know that there's a bottleneck when it comes to the scanning machine. So I'm going to move it over and put another scanner in. Actually, I'm going to put two scanners in. It says you need to connect it to a scanner monitor. It doesn't specifically say you need to connect it to multiple ones. And also, it seems to be working anywhere. Regardless. And it's buying these all in ones. Those are now in. Let's see if that works. Hopefully that'll increase the throughput of this. There is some intake. Instigator, supplier, stalker, quick, extremely strong, etc. But nothing dangerous as far as I can tell. Hopefully that'll sort out. Sort that out. Early prisoner releases as well, which I'm happy with. Although a couple have reoffended, sadly. So what is our reoffending rate? Only eight percent. It's still good, considering that the grant for this thing says you need to be for a successful, <laughs> for a successful um, grant completion. It's thirty percent or less. So getting to eight percent is really good. Average punishment grade is 8 high. Average reform grade is 8 high. Work experience is 2. I don't know. Life skills are an important part of the reform. Giving prisoner jobs within the prison will improve the average work experience. But we've got loads of jobs and loads of programs. So I don't know how we can increase that. And we've got nothing that is doing suppression. Security rate is 2. Health is 0. But I bet this one says differently. Yeah, it says minus 1. So who do we believe? Anyway, remove tunnels because there's tunnels to remove there. And let's get that removed. And we have more people coming in. Overall, though, reform is alright. I think it's alright. So, we can see they are just finishing off some of the walls. And... Yeah, those walls are still planned. Some of the walls and some of the flooring. So I'm happy with that. Speaking of flooring, going to go over to our concrete tiles and place concrete tiles in there. Along to here, and then... Just for the sake of completeness, for now anyway, that section there, 
we'll put those in and then we need to think about this area so these are going to be our graded cells so we know we're going to need to put in the walls first so we'll use we could use the classy blue stripes but i think we are just going to stick with the wall min sec so let's just go ahead and do our t sections right across now obviously if it wasn't auto lit we could have very easily done a cloning job on this but we are well we we're not and we haven't probably easy to go along first is it yeah so in terms of grading we've got various levels of grading we have the cells on the right are the highest grade in terms of size obviously we're talking about at this stage not in terms of stuff that's inside it but inevitably there will be the highest grade for both size and because of the items we put inside it but i estimate that the the smaller ones that we're doing now these are most likely going to be i'm hoping for about grade five because we'll have because of the size one open to the outside two three because of a bookcase four because of say a pillow and then five because of something else yeah five up to the maximum of 15 is ideal but we're not going to have every grade so it's not going to go literally one to 15 it might go from four to six to ten to fifteen something like that nothing set in stone that's you know something we can work on in this episode get it done and then yeah i guess clone it at some point and the reason I'm doing this is because we just don't have enough people to work in all the places. So the more people we have, the more we can do the work and the reform and focus on that as well. So the cracking on with this, I will preemptively put a metal detector in. Actually, we're putting in two metal detectors. And that'll then run down to there. Which should be fine. our needs are getting fulfilled six prisoners say they can't meet that need and most likely these prisoners will be like these prisoners here that's some recent misconduct they're extremely volatile yes and then they have loads of recent misconduct and they have loads of cleaning experience and a bit of customer service but incomplete for the other stuff estimate chance of reoffending 97% those are not going to get out early. <laughs> We're going to do a shakedown, all sectors, uh, 638 places. I think at this stage we should just have an automatic, automatic search, to be honest. And let's just get our grading in. And yes, I'm going to put this as a cell as well. This one could technically become a cell. And some people recommended we put like a... I think it was... Did they say they wanted a... Uh, tower there guard tower no wouldn't go in and we don't have anyone to go on the guard towers anywhere anywhere for these cells then it's going to be similar to these so let's put in the toilets first so it's going to be on the right hand side because again that's the furthest away from the Mm, hang on. The furthest away from the edge, but it's not technically for this one, so we'll rotate it round and place it in like so. I'm tempted to have showers for the Um I'm tempted to have showers for the uh for the highest grade cell block but i haven't yet decided we'll put the beds first standard beds until we get to this pattern which guess it'll then be comfy beds yeah, privacy cells grade yeah yeah that's fine so these will go in here i'll do the same on this side probably put tvs in there as well and those get rotated and at the back so you're not totally trying to remake that but it's close to it i guess i think radios can go in 
and bookshelves. Well, bookshelves go there. CEO's calling. I'll wait until they've. Well, I'll wait until I've done this. Because then I can just unpause it and let them all crack on with the job at hand. And we're not messing around here. <laughs> we're getting this done. So, looks like your lawyer has filed some paperwork that is protecting you from the consequences of this mess. Guess it means I can't fire you this time. Get your prison in order. Sorry? What? <laughs> what mess? What mess is that? I can't see it. I do not know what mess he's talking about. In terms of bureaucracy, I'm just going to... I'm just going to unlock everything. We might as well. We don't need orderlies. Normal guards are prohibited from attacking criminally insane inmates as they might hurt them. Orderlies are speci uh, specially trained to restrain criminally insane inmates without harming them. Also fit straight jackets to these psychopathic inmates. I don't know if they have any purpose in this facility without the criminally insane stuff on. And look at those plates. <laughs> I don't know if those can be ever picked up because they're in the wrong room. And there's loads in that doorway. <laughs> I don't really know what I can do there. So, you can see at the moment I'm not putting doors on this. That's because as soon as you put doors on these, these become a legitimate cell and then everybody that is... Uh, qualified to move over will get shifted over and I don't want that because then we're altering the grade anyway. So I'm not going to do any of that. Uh, what I am going to do is dump all of these plates because there's just more places to search. It's unsanitary. All the people who are walking in are looking at it going, this is horrible. Please sort that out. And yeah, there's a lot to be said for the place getting launched through walls. Okay. So how we're we doing over here? Looks to be fairly sorted. Right. What I'm going to do then is I've put these. I didn't put these as comfy beds. I don't think it really matters. So large window. Like this. There's the large windows, and then a standard window. And I'll do the top first, and then. Work on the bottom one. Obviously, all this costs money, but we're getting some decent stuff in. And TVs, I think. The bottom of the bed. That's one thing I don't think I've mentioned. There was a lot of people saying that the TVs were in the wrong orientation. In, well, actually in a couple of places, saying that they were in, wrong in here, which they ain't, and wrong in here, which they're not. So, unless there's something I'm missing, they're all fine. Shake down once again. We have to shake down all the time, as you can clearly see. Concrete tiles and flooring. Let's get it run. In and around here. And these might get carpet. Blue carpet. I think we do. There's tunnels. Oh. One, two, three, four. That's just the exit where they've come out. There's some more. So we're not even searching for tunnels. We just happen to be searching the toilet. And then you find the tunnels. So, yeah, a lot of things found. So it's kicking off in here as well. There's an unconscious prisoner there. Ah, it's Eads. It's Eads. We've seen them about. Skilled fighter, green thumb, volatile. Yeah, there's a couple of 
prisoners with no traits that are getting attacked. Could just be totally random. Random attacks. Obviously, danger level's high. Prisoners are all heated because of the uh, the search. Uh, shakedown underway. You can see we found ropes are the main thing and booze. So yeah, we'll just stop that. We'll need to run some pipe work in here. Um, how we run it previously? Just along the middle, is it? Right. So I'll run it along, along, and then just connect it roughly to the middle, along, along, and roughly to the middle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom. Yeah, that's exactly in the middle. Good. This seems to be all working, and we are exporting a lot of power. And also... There's prison fighting for no particular reason, as far as I can tell. And some people said we'd this uh, level of solitary was too much. Uh, probably right, but by the time we get this put in, <laughs> we probably will need this uh, two levels of uh, of solitary. So what all the grading is? Nothing yet has been finalised, but we've got a room quality of. Seven. Okay. One of the spiritual leaders we bring in for our religious programs has been riling up the inmates with all kinds of hateful speech. Hmm. They've been fired, but it'll take some time for the prisoners to cool down. Well, it's going to take some time for them to cool down anyway. Anyway, back over to here. We do need some... I think chairs. Don't think that's unreasonable. And put that in all these cells. Oh, we also. Oh, we, oh I was going to say we haven't got toilets, but of course we have. That's going to increase the grade of this. I think that's pretty much the grade I want for the majority of this. On the left hand side, at least, anywhere. Don't think I want them any higher than that, but these ones we are going to regrade. You can see all of the prisoner uniforms are getting delivered. I'm hoping our laundry is sufficient. It seems it seems about right. Six ironing boards, five laundry machines, and laundry baskets that are out and about and working. Danger level is flying up. Serious complaints for some prisoners, and some of them are shackled in their cells. Are in solitary. Well, yeah, but they've done something bad, and then necessarily searched. Okay, yeah. I think it's because some prisoners, because of our policy, receive twelve hours for attempted escapes or serious injury, which in the game is a lot. And we're now up to <laughs> uh, thirty-two thousand. Generic units of currency per day. Wow. That's um it's pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. So let's have a quick look then. Logistics room quality. Start six over there. That is fine. These ones. Hang on. Prisoners have already been moved over. someone in there. Right, looks like I'm just going to have to sort of put up and shut up by placing the doors on this thing. Uh, was it the grey jail door? It was the grey jail doors. Yeah, even though it hasn't got a door on it, because it's been designated as a cell, they've moved over. So, I guess uh, this cell block's open for business then. <laughs> it's no big drama, we should be fine. Um, I'm just a bit concerned that some of the prisoners that moved over may end up getting moved over elsewhere once we increase the grade. By the way, I've done a search on that guy because he flashed a bottle of booze in front in front of us just as we were moving along. <laughs> and there you are. 
We are now on to 91% for reform prisoner initiative. Achieve 100 reform prisoners after release. No superior beds produced. And... Eaglebeak has killed a guard. So let's see what happens. Apparently, apparently that. Good grief. And it sounds as if they're trying to pick something up, but they're dropping it multiple times. Wow. Thomas Eaglebeak. Strong and deadly. And is going to spend a lot of time there now. There's three staff. I'm going to take us up to 40 staff members. Plus also in our programs, start to run a... Guard Taser Certification. I need to finish off the grading of these cells. Let's just check. Logistics room quality. An office desk, a shower head, pillows, sink and mirror, canvas and paints, punch bag, comfy bed. Old bed is minuses. So, a radio and a desk would be nice for these. Mm, office desk. fits in and radio can go in there and I guess there as well that's as far as I really want to take the grading for now we may change that I may change my mind and alter that grading but that's a lot better that means it's increased our capacity and let's say increase the potential grading of this thing. All right, not too bad. Obviously, still a lot of this is going up as well. We need to get to 200 prisoners. We won't get it with this, but if we clone it and put it here, we we might. I don't know. Two, four, six, seventeen. Mm, no, we won't. We will not. It's a bit of a shame. And there's some returning prisoners. Legendary prisoner. And returning. So this prisoner has come back legendary. There he is. Legendary. Prisoner uh, Bathman 10. Or Air Potato. Prisoner number 407608. Extremely strong, tough, volatile, extremely volatile, I should say. Snitch and foodie. Ah, oh, so we have to protective custody him then, because he's a snitch. Curious. Okay. Well, we are going to leave it there. That's been a bit of Prison Architect, and progress has been okay. We've got this done, all these in. Cleaned a couple of things up. Overall, happy. Next episode, I want to... I don't know. I don't know where I want to go with this. I don't necessarily want to just add more prisoners. I think we need to look at death row. We need to look at additional rooms such as the library and the mail room. Also, extra yards certainly is required. And also flower therapy. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on that one in terms of our priorities, what you think we should do, any changes to be made, etc. But overall, quite happy so far with the expansion and what we've done. Obviously, green energy didn't expect, but I think it's a positive thing for the series. Similarly for the grading. It's different from this, but also informs what we're doing. So overall, happy, apart from Lee that's currently injured as well as Redson. Hmm. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this episode of Prison Arctic. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.